the most affordable 4K streaming device currently on the market right now. All right, here we go. So this is the Roku 4K Express 4K. This gives you brilliant 4K picture and vivid HDR color with a voice remote. This is a 4K streaming device. What's included in the box? You'll be getting the Roku Express 4K streaming player. You get the voice remote. You're going to be getting two AAA batteries for the remote. You get a USB power cable and a power adapter. And you get a premium high-speed HDMI cable to attach to your television. What you'll need is a broadband internet, wireless router, and TV with an HDMI port, which is pretty much all your TVs, even your computers. The It gives you incredible picture and exceptional value because you get 4K picture and HDR color. It is smooth. The Roku wireless, I mean the Roku interface is is very very good it is exceptional it is as close i mean i'm on the amazon fire ecosystem but my mother is on the roku and she finds that much easier to use because i try to do the fire stick first now let's take it out of the box and let's see what it looks like when we remove it so this is brand new i guess i guess i just want you guys to see that it is brand new sticker is still there and let's pop it open express 4k out of the box And here we go. So we're opening this. This is what it looks like. This is what you get in the box, guys. You're getting the remote. You're getting the Express 4K device. You're getting your charging port. And underneath, you have your, you'll have your Express 4K setup guide. And you have your micro USB charging cable. Or, and you get your... You, this is an HDMI cable. Okay, so now let's talk about it. This is how big the actual Roku 4K device is. Secondly, you get it with the remote here. So this is the entire kit, right? This is the entire kit, the Roku and the Roku, uh, the Roku 4K and the remote. Now let's plug it in. Let's plug it in. Let's see how it works. So we have a Samsung Frame TV behind me. And I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to set this up. Now, you're getting two cables out of the box. First cable you're gonna need is the HDMI port to connect to your, or the HDMI cable to connect to your television. So let's do that. Just, just remove this and we'll plug it in. So we're plugging this in here and we're gonna be plugging this into our set top. Secondly, you need your charging cable. So your charging cable is right here and we will remove it. And let's plug it in. So this is a five volt, one amp power. That's all it needs, five volt, uh, five volt, one amp. So I have that right here next to me so I can just plug this in. I have a Samsung frame TV. So my controls are all on the side. Like, my um, connection ports are all uh, away from the TV, so I can just install it into this box. This is a Connect 1 box from Samsung. So we're going to put this in HDMI 2. So you guys see that? I just plugged it in here, and now it is connected. So it's connected. Now let's turn this on, and our light will start indicating that it's on. So let's turn it on. So here you can see that the Roku menu bar has already come out and we've already connected it here. We'll remove our... So... Tommy Willis, I have to go to do a live stream for my pastor's morning devotional, but your video quality is superb. Thank you. We really try and to maximize the quality because we have two setups, right? We have this setup and then if we want to go a little bit more in like in tune, we can show you things on this table um, or show you things like that. And you're gonna need a stream deck. A st the stream deck is the key to make this all possible. All right, so back to our Roku 4K device. Let's get started. We're gonna get started how you set it up. You go to English. It's gonna look for your wireless network. And this is this is uh, one of my wireless networks, so let me connect to it. Now, I don't want people to know my password. I don't want people to know my password. 
So we're gonna we're gonna have to cover this while I put in my password, right? So now we're connected. Update available. So we're gonna be updating to the latest software. So it'll update automatically. And the Roku Express 4K, it is very fast. It's a very fast um, it's a very fast device. And now the screen is set up, so let's look at it. This is the load up screen on your Roku 4K. So it's going to auto detect your display type. We're going to go OK. Let's go to our top box and OK. So we are 1080p for sure. I'm 4K right now. So OK, go to automatic. So yes, screen looks good. Enter your email address. All right, it says use voice, say one letter at a time. Huh. All right, so we're gonna use our info at the frenchglow.com email address. So let's try that. So we're gonna use voice, one letter at a time. So I, you see that I came out, N, F O at T H E F R E N C H G L O W period so we gotta we gotta remove. So we'll just put dot com ourselves. So we're just gonna put dot com ourselves, and then we'll finish our setup. So we're just walking through how long it takes to and how easy it is to set up your Roku. And continue. So activation link was set. Let me check on my item here. So let me check on my phone. Did we get the email? Yeah, so we got the Roku email. Activate your device. We're gonna click the activation link. All right, it is updating. Now it is now it is connected to our set top right here on the Express 4K and it's setting it up according to my profile. And the Roku's can be very personalized to what you're looking for. Um, they also just bought the Quibi catalog, so they're they're creating their own content similar to your Netflix or other streaming devices. It gives you smooth wireless streaming, so there's not going to be this whole buffering or lat latency because the processor in here can handle the transmission very easily, very quickly. There's no more juggling remotes. This is a universal remote that can control your set top and your TV. It will control, you can upgrade to Roku streaming. So all of it is on the Roku dashboard and it's simple. The truth of the matter is the Roku is a very simple and easy to use set streaming device. Um, on this particular one, you have your remote here. So these are your volume buttons. You have your volume and your mute. You will also come with your, your different uh, hotkeys or shortcut buttons. On the, the one difference is that on the more uh, high-end premium Roku's, you normally do get a headphone jack on the remote. So you can connect your headphones if you're using wire directly to it. So all done. So here we're all done. And this is the Roku. Let's get So this is explaining to you the, how the channels work. So this is your streaming channels, your search. You can search settings. It explain the the Roku makes it very easy and simple to understand. Now let's turn up the volume just a little bit so you guys can hear it. 
For more information and other cool features, visit the Tips and Tricks channel on your home screen. All right, we're going to skip this. So we're just going to go to the home screen. So this is our home screen. And you can see you have your Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, Roku Channel, Disney Plus, all the stream sharing devices featured for free. So this is on the free TV. You have my feed. You have your movie store using Fandango. Otherwise, you can just use one of your personal uh, movie platforms. Amazon Prime, perfect example. TV store search. You have your streaming channels if you want to add any and your settings. So in your settings, you'll find that you can check connection. You can set up your remotes. You can set the theme. So this is something that a lot of people don't know they can do. So you can set the theme. You can do featured. You have all these different themes you can pick from. So let's say my kids love the jungle, right? Or, oh, let's do this one. Let's say I want to be Zen. So we're going to pick the Zen theme. So we're going to get the screen, we'll get the wallpaper. So we're adding the, we're adding the wallpaper. We'll go back to our home screen. And let's go to settings again. We're also going to check our audio. You can control your audio. It has your menu volume. You can control your home screen, your payment options. Pretty much this is a all-in-one streaming computer that you attach to your TV. Check it out. I'm a huge fan of the Roku's and it is the most affordable 4K streaming device currently on the market right now.